Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rachel with There's a Girl in the Gardens. If you're anything like me, you're constantly leaving your garden tools wherever around the garden or the yard. And that can lead to rust and your tools just wearing out quicker than they should. I have no less than four pairs of shears that I am constantly leaving wherever I happen to stop using them. So I saw this garden hack on Pinterest many years ago that I thought would definitely come in handy now that I'm more of an avid gardener and I thought I would share it with you and see if you guys like it. So I went out yesterday to Home Depot because my birthday is this Friday and my beloved father and my sweet stepmother sent me a gift card. So I went out and got myself a mailbox with a post. So thank you so much, Dad and Maria. I love you guys very much, and I know you're watching, so I love it, I appreciate it. So I thought it would be cute to put this mailbox in the garden somewhere so that I would have easy access to my tools without having to hunt for them in the shed, and everything that I use that's small can be kept in its own little home. So I'm gonna work on putting this together and then we'll go put it out in the garden and fill it up with little tools and gloves and the like. So this is architectural mailboxes. The style is MB1 and it's black. This isn't sponsored or anything like that, but I thought it was really pretty and it came with its own post. So that's nice because then I don't have to build one out of wood or anything like that box is a little damaged, but they gave me 10% off. I didn't even ask for that. <laughs> so I need two open-ended wrenches and a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'll go get that now. This is the mailbox. And of course it has a little flag. So cute. So. I'm gonna work on putting this together. It doesn't seem that hard. Assembling stuff isn't my favorite thing to do, but I think I can handle this. Whee! Okay, so that was pretty easy to assemble. Let me move the camera and I'll attach the mailbox to the top of the post. Okay, so I got it all put together and it's on its little post. So I'm gonna go outside and use an auger to create a hole for it and get it in the ground. I'm still in the process of cleaning up the hostas, but I think this is a really cute spot for it. Right by the back door. Once I dig a hole for it, it'll be a little bit lower. sure what that is so I'm gonna get my spade and dig a little bit rusty nail I like it right here. I can see my tools. I can see what I'm looking at in there in case there's any spiders. I'm not going to be surprised. So I'll just bury it really tightly and put some stuff in it.
Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. Super cute. I love the little flag, too. Let me go get some of my shears and gloves, and I'll put it in there and see what it looks like. So I got my shears. I got this very cute measuring spoon that has two ounces, one ounce, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, a pair of gloves, and some garden wire. So, I mean, look how handy that is. I am so happy about that. I am constantly leaving stuff all over the yard. That's why it's all dirty and rusty. And this is just so much better, easy to access. I am loving it. I forgot to mention, I bought this can of green spray paint to spray paint this because it reminds me of Monet's house, Giverny, the, the green of his bridges and stuff there. And I want, I just would love everything to look like Giverny. So uh, let me know if you think this would be a good idea. Should I leave it black or should I spray paint it green? Thank you again, Daddy and Maria. I love you so much. This is a great birthday present. And I hope that hack was handy for you. If you have tried this or if you have any other garden hacks that you want to share, please leave me a comment down below. And I thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my channel, please click subscribe. And I will see you next time. Have a great week, everybody. Bye. Guys, one more thing before I go. I thought it would be fun to start sharing three things that made me happy this week. I think it's been really helpful to me to concentrate on the good in life and what I'm grateful for. So this week, I am grateful for my garden, my beautiful children, and my sweet husband, Matt, who I've been married to for 10 years and who helps me a lot in the garden and in every other way. He's my best friend. Please leave me a comment of three things that made you happy this week. I'm hoping that we can lift each other up by sharing our positive experiences or things that we're grateful for. Mm -hmm.